Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to download and set up the physics mod. The physics mod is a client side mod that adds somewhat realistic physics to Minecraft. With this mod, each vanilla mob acts as ragdolls and upon being hit or killed, fracture and break apart. Mining is also now an immersive experience. When you're in a cave, it will literally feel like it's falling apart around you. Not only that, but there is weather physics implemented as well as sound settings you can adjust. Weather physics allow you to add wind forces, change the wind strength and some other miscellaneous options. With sound settings, you can adjust how loud the wind is and other sounds coming from the mod. Now, these are all features that come with the basic free version of this mod. However, there's a pro version you can get by becoming a patron to the mod creator. With the pro version, you get a few more features such as navigating the ocean with realistic waves, having chimneys with realistic smoke, snow that leaves footprint trails, and much more. If this sounds of interest to you, I'll be showing you how you can download the physics mod yourself just now. To download the physics mod, you need to head to this link, it'll be in the description. That's the official website where you'll be able to choose what version of the mod you want. In this tutorial, we'll just be showing you how to download the basic version for everyone. However, if you want the pro version, there's also that option on the main page. You can access that by clicking pro version and following the steps there. Firstly, what you need to do is click download. Then on this page, you'll be able to select the version you want under light versions. You can choose whether you want the mod for fabric or forge, but I want it for the latest version on fabric, so I'll be clicking on that link. That'll instantly begin the physics mod download. When the download is finished, you want to drag it to your desktop so it's easier to follow the next few steps. Since we downloaded the latest version for Fabric, I have to have the latest version of Fabric Launcher installed on my client as well. If you have the Forge version instead, or if you don't know how to install a Forge or Fabric Launcher, I'm going to be showing you how to install both Forge and Fabric on your client, so keep watching. I'll be starting out with Fabric. To do that, you have to go to this page. The link will be in the description. Then all you have to do is press the download for Windows button if you're on Windows. If you're on Mac, then make sure to click the button below that. It shouldn't take 2 seconds for the file to download, so when it's done, just double click it. When this window opens up, simply select the version you want to download Fabric for. Make sure that this version matches the version of the mod you downloaded earlier so no issues occur. For that reason, I'll be selecting the version 1.19.3. Create profile should be ticked and everything else should stay the same, but when that's done, press install. Shortly, this pop-up will appear signaling that the download is finished. It'll also say that many mods also require you to put a Fabric API into the mods folder, so we'll quickly be installing that too. To do that, you'll need to head to this page. When you're there, head to the file section and then scroll down until you see the version you want to download. I'll be downloading the API for 1.19.3 once more. After we've waited a few seconds, it'll begin the download of the file and when it's done, we'll just be dragging it to our desktop so it's easier to follow the next few steps. Now that we've installed Fabric though, we can make sure it's working correctly by opening up the Minecraft launcher. Then you'll know it's running smoothly if the launcher with the version you selected appears on the bottom left. For me, it appears correctly, so now if you've downloaded the Fabric mod and the Fabric launcher, you can skip to installing the mod on the client section. However, if you're wanting to install Forge, keep watching. To install Forge, you'll firstly have to head to this page, the link will be in the description. Then all you have to do on the left is select the version of the mod you downloaded. You can click on the versions as well to expand your search. However, when you know what version to click, simply click on Installer on the recommended subheading. That'll take you to this page where you'll simply have to wait a couple seconds before pressing skip. It should take 2 seconds for that file to download, so when it's done, just double click it. When this window opens up, Install Client should be ticked and everything else should stay the same, but when that's done, press OK. A window will pop up installing all of the required files you need, but in no time the installation will be finished. Only close the tab when you see it says successfully installed. Now that we've installed Forge, we can make sure it's working correctly by opening up the Minecraft launcher. Then, you'll know it's running smoothly if the launcher with the version you selected appears on the bottom left. For me, it appears correctly, so now we can move on to installing the mod on our client. Now that you've downloaded the mod and installed Fabric or Forge, you'll need to drag the mod into the correct folder. For this, all you have to do is press the Windows key and the R key at the same time on your keyboard. That'll open up this small window. All you have to do is type percentage, app data percentage and press enter. That'll then open this files explorer window. All you have to do is find the .minecraft folder and open it up and then find the mods folder. 
you don't see a mods folder, you can just create a new folder and name it mods as it'll work the same. Once you're in that folder though, all you have to do is drag in the physics mod file you downloaded just before. If you downloaded the fabric version, also drag in the fabric API file we downloaded. But once you're done with that, the physics mod is now downloaded on your client. To make sure everything's working as intended, then you can open up your Minecraft launcher once again. Then in the bottom left, make sure that the version selected is still the version of the mod and launcher you downloaded and installed. I know I'm safe to press play because it says fabric 1.19.3. When the game is launched, you'll know the mod is working by heading in a server or a single player world. I'll be heading into my public server I made using server.pro. When inside, if you try to break a block or kill a mob and the correct animation appears, then everything's working fine. If the same isn't happening for you, then you probably missed a step in the tutorial, so make sure to go back and refollow them. Well that's it for this video, if you have any more questions make sure to leave them down below and if you enjoyed this video subscribe to see more from my channel. Thank you for watching!